All right, guys. Well, today was a pretty good day for me. Uh, I was contacted by another YouTuber yesterday by private message, and here's his channel name, Thomas Mino. Uh, he doesn't have any videos up, but he does watch my videos as well as some of the other gun guys. And he had seen me post in a video where I was still waiting on my Wilson Combat magazine to get here so I could try the Sig Scorpion with it. So it turns out he lives a couple of towns away from me, and he was going to be down in my area today. So he sent me a message and said, Hey, I have a Wilson Combat magazine I'd like to give you. Uh, if you're interested, let me know, and we can find a place to meet up in your area. So I called the phone number he left and told him, you know, sure, you know, I'd like to try out the Wilson magazine. And so here it is. Thomas brought me down that Wilson magazine. And he also brought me this book called the M1911 Complete Owner's Guide. It's a very informative book, and it's got a lot of stuff in here with pictures. Um, basically showing you descriptions on how to work on 1911s and different things you can do to them. So, <laughs> he brought me a magazine and a book. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Thomas. I do appreciate it. Well, after I left from where I met him at, I come home, and guess what is sitting in my mailbox? H4T's mailbox had the Wilson Combat 47D magazine that I had ordered uh, about a week or so ago. <laughs> Finally got here today. So here's that one. Now the one that he gave me and this one appear to whoops, dropped it on the ground. Appear to be the same except for the follower on the one he gave me has a wider base plate on it than the one that I ordered here. But other than that they're pretty much identical. Um, his has numbers on it. His has the numbers on it. Mine does not. But aside from that, they look like the same magazine. So that'll be great. Uh, I'll have two magazines to run with now, and I can just ditch the SIG magazines. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand cycle this a few times because some of the times, even with the SIG magazine, the slide wouldn't lock back manually, racking it by hand. So I'm going to hand cycle this with the SIG mag and then with the Wilson mag and I'm going to tell you if there's, a, if there's a difference that I can tell. Okay, right in there now is the SIG magazine that came with the gun. Okay, now I'm going to put in the Wilson Combat mag and do the same thing. Make sure I'm in frame here. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is it feels like it's locking with more authority and it takes more pressure for me to release the slide lock lever when I release it now with the Wilson magazine. And that's a good thing. Uh, I don't use the slide release lever to uh, chamber the gun. When the gun is locked back, and I put in a new magazine, I use the over-the-top over method and just pull back on the slide and let it fly forward. I don't even use this. So that's a good thing. It's locking up a little bit more positive. Uh, let me show you the difference or the similarities in the followers of these two magazines. between the SIG and the Wilson. Okay, let me stand here where I can better show you this. Okay, the furthest from you is the SIG. Let me get this to focus in. Just bear with me. Okay, there is the piece right here. This is where your round would be up here. This piece right here is what activates the slide lock lever. 
Now on the Wilson, right there is what activates the slide lock lever. It looks similar by eye, but I'm telling you as of right now, the Wilson is locking the slide back with more authority and force and it's harder for me to push the slide lock release down when it's in there. Let me give you a side-by-side -side comparison here. And like I said, the my thumb is on the Wilson right here. So there's the difference in the followers. Might not look like a lot by eye, but it doesn't take much to change the, di the dynamics of what's going on in that gun. So I'm very hopeful that this gun is going to work properly with the Wilsons. Uh, I have two of them now, and I will be using both magazines. I'm going to try to get out there Monday, uh, pending weather. As long as it's not storming and there's not a swamp, I prefer to shoot outdoors, and that's what I'm going to do with this thing. And plus, it's much easier for me to film and let you see what the, what the gun's doing when I shoot. Uh, if I'm in the indoor range, you're not going to be able to see too much of what's going on because of how the lanes are. So I'm going to try to get this gun out there Monday, and we'll see how it runs. Once again, I want to say thank you, Thomas. The book is awesome. <laughs> I'm probably more happy with the book than I am the magazine right now at this point because there's a lot of things in here that I'd like to read up on. Uh, I haven't done work on 1911s. You know, that's why I like the Glocks. Simplistic, and you can change anything out of them that you need to. Uh, you know, it's just the simpler a platform is, the much more user-friendly and easier it is to deal with. But I'd like to get into some of this stuff that's in here and start looking at how to work on these things and, you know, do different things to them. So that's it, guys. Two Wilson Combat Magazines. And hopefully I can say bye-bye to these Sig Mags forever. This is H4T, and I'm out.